Hello everyone, this is Nasreen Akhtar. Welcome you all to listen to my podcast on the historical places of Bangladesh, part 2. And it's about Lalbag Fort. Lalbag Fort or Fort Aurangabad is an incomplete Mughal palace fortress. It is situated in the southwestern part of Dhaka on the bank of the river Buriganga. The Lalbag Fort has a long and interesting history like many other archaeological treasures in Bangladesh. It is widely agreed that Lalbagh Fort stands as a monument to the unfulfilled dreams of Prince Muhammad Azam. He began the construction of the fort complex in 1678. During that time, Muhammad Azam was serving as the Viceroy of Bengal. He was called back to his father, Emperor Aurangzeb, to assist in the war against the Marathas before the construction of the fort was completed. Subedar Shahista Khan was his successor. After Prince Azam, Shahista Khan continued with the building project. He also did not complete the work, though he stayed in Dhaka up to 1688. The reason behind was his daughter, Iranduk. She fondly known as Bibi Pari, Fairy Lady. She died here in 1684 and this led Shahista Khan to consider the four to be ominous. Bibi Pari was engaged to be married to Prince Azam at the time of her death. The main purpose of the Lalbagh fort was to provide a defensive enclosure for the protection of the palace buildings. It is therefore more of a palace fortress than a sea fort. The shape of the fort is rectangular with many outstanding features. The fort was considered to be a combination of three buildings, the mosque, the tomb of Bibi Pari and the Diwan Yam, two gateways and a portion of the partly damaged fortification wall. The shape of the mosque is rectangular with huge three dome. It is situated in the western part of the complex with a water tank in front on the eastern part. It also contains a water channel with fountains at regular interval. The water channels and the fountains are very common features of Mughal architecture. The double storied Diwani Am attached with a single storied Hammam on its west and it is an imposing building. Hammam was the bathing pal- place of Nawab Shasta Khan. This complex also includes one platform, a small kitchen, an oven, water storage area, a dressing room, and an extra room. The tomb of Bibi Pari, the building in the middle, is the most impressive of the surviving buildings of the fort. It consists of eight rooms surrounding a central square room, which contains the mortal remains of Bibi Pari. This central room is covered by an octagonal shaped dome, which has been overlaid in bronze. The walls of the rooms are covered in decorative tiles, work, and marble. Lalbag Fort is a place of Mughal archaeological beauty. Mughals are world famous for their art and culture. The beauty of the Lalbag Fort remains attracts the visitors and tourists. You may submerge the historical past of the Mughal period if you visit here. The flowery and green natural site surely offers majestic charm to you. Lalbag Fort remains open for tourists six days a week in daytime, except Sunday and government holidays. Thank you for listening my podcast. You can visit my blog and give comments on www.malanasreen.blogspot.com.